T-Mac. And I'm Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today we are going to show you all how to score a buck. Uh, this is a buck I took two years ago with my longbow. It's my best buck so far. And uh, we're just going to measure it up. I haven't measured it since I shot it. And obviously after a while they shrink. So we're just going to kind of give it an official score. And by the looks of it, I'm saying 140. We uh, green scored him around 144. So we'll see. We got the Boone and Crockett. How, we're going to show you how to measure this. But an easy way of doing this is go to booneandcrockettclub.org. And even though we're not, uh, this is not a Boone and Crockett deer, or we're not officially registering it uh, or anything like that, we're not official uh, scorers. But you can go to the Boone and Crockett website, booneandcrockett.org, and they got PDF files on there. Uh, just like this, it shows you exactly how to measure it. Got all these columns here where you can write all your stuff down, and it'll show you exactly what you need to do to measure this thing. And uh, they have those for whitetail, mule deer, everything that Boone and Crockett recognizes. And it's got not only the score sheet, but on the back, it's got really good instructions for how to measure your whitetail or the animal that you're measuring. So that's what we're doing. Me and Tyson have measured quite a few of these. Uh, but it's always handy just to have these here so we know exactly what to measure and how to measure it. And uh, we've got this to keep record of it. So booncrockett.org and you can just get the, download this and print this off in no time. Alright, number of points? Number of points on the right antler. On the right antler. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points. Number of points on the left antler. Five. Any abnormal points? Is that considered abnormal? I would think so. One. One. That's on the right antler? Yeah. I think anything abnormal would be if it's not on the left and it is on the right. Okay. So. okay. Tip to tip spread. Tip to tip spread. This is like a tape for all me. Super. Nine and a half. Uh, greatest spread. Outside. Outside. Uh, greatest spread. Is this G2? Three. Yeah, that's about where it shows it on the thing, too. 17 and 3 eighths. Okay. Inside spread of main means. Fifteen and a half. Total length of abnormal points. One inch. Main right antler. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Twenty right on the dot. Uh, Nineteen and the eight. Oh, there's a the deduction. Yeah. I like uh, gross though. I don't like the first one. Yeah, we go off gross. We don't, don't like the net. We don't go off net. All right. What else? Uh, first point. On the Which right one. Do you want on the right side? The way you tell a. Uh, where you start your measurement is if you drew a straight line through the horn on the main beam, that's where you start your measurement on the point. Just thought I'd throw that in there. You can see a few extra if you go down to the base. Four and we have to do it by eights, don't we? So six eighths. Six eighths. All, right, all your measurements are in eighths, supposed to be. Three quarters. Yeah. Six eighths is three quarters. I don't know, but you got to put in eights. Oh, you got to put in eights, okay. Everything's got to be put in eights when you're doing it. Okay, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Okay, left eight. Uh, G1. Four and six eights. Four and seven eights. That one. Okay, now length of G2 on the right side. See, a lot of deer I kill, we'd be done scoring them by now. <laughs> I've got plenty of those. Ten and six eighths. Listen to you, that looks like <laughs> ten and a half to me. Uh, length of second point eight on the left side. And six eighths. 
Well, at least he's got that six eight six eights down. Okay, G three. Nine and two eights. <laughs> Nine. Two eights of difference. Uh, next one's G four. Three and a half. Oh, I mean, sorry. Eight here. Four eights. Three and four eights. Four eights. Four. Okay. You got a fifth point? No. Sixth point? No. Seventh? No. Okay. Wish. <laughs> wish, you had, wish you had that many points. Now we're doing some circumference. Circumference. Uh, circumference at smallest place between burr and first point. Burr and first point. Let's see. Right at the base. We, uh, this one's kind of difficult because of all the wire. When I shot this buck, he tore up a goat wire fence, I guess. And I told him to put it back the way he was when I shot him. So that's where it was. So that's where I got to deal with. Looks like it's nine to me. Nine? Nine? Yeah. <laughs> I think if you can fit your hand around it, it's usually about five, so. What we've got here is four circumferences. Four and the, the six eighths. And even if you have an eight point, which this right here, if this point wasn't here, you still measure out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get four measurements. Yeah, it goes from, and like this one will be the first and second, the next one's second, third, and the last one's third and fourth. Okay, next one is the between the first and second. I dropped it. That's, That's why we can get these ones that got good palmation, like Dyson's got here. You're going to get a little bit better score there because he's palmated out a little bit. I think bit. he's wider here than he is on the He looks page. like it. That buck that I killed a couple years ago when I got hanging on the, on the wall at the shop, he was he scored real good because he's all palmated out. Him and that deer I killed two years ago were almost identical. But because he was so palmated, he actually scored a lot higher than that deer. Love the palmitation. Palm palatimated. Palatimated, that's what. Three and six eighths. Okay. Second and third point. This one here is the probably the widest one. Four and six eighths. About the same as the base, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, it's a, a, a little, little bit bigger. bigger yeah. This one's going to be way different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, last one is out here. Three and two eighths. All right, now we just got, a, got the trusty calculator here. We're going to add this up. Hey, on your um, inside spread of enticing, we're discussing this. The only thing you add with, you don't add the tip to tip, you don't add the greatest spread. We're not sure why that's even on the thing. But the only thing we're adding in here is the inside spread of the main beams. So that one is 15 and a half. Okay. And then, um, actually, that one, we need to put that down here. We don't need to add that in yet. Well, call actually, one. Call one of these 16.5 because of my average. No, nah, that's a good, uh, okay, yeah. We're right. adding it. We're adding it, yeah, that's no right. 16.5 for column one. Okay, column two, we're going to add 20, 4, 10, 9, 3, 4, 3, 4, and 3. 60. Since the calculator doesn't do eights, we're going to add the eights up in our head. So This could get good. This could get really funny. Yeah. <laughs> 60. 18 plus 4. Uh, 8. 9. 4. 4. Three, three, three. Fifty-seven. Okay. So sixteen point five. Sixteen point five. Plus sixty-four point five. Plus sixty-four point five. Plus fifty-seven point seven five. You're gonna get awful close to that one forty mark. One thirty-eight and three quarters. Ugh, that close. That, that close. close. Like I said, he. 
one thirty-eight and three quarters. I guessed him shrinking about six inches from our last score, and that was a just under six, about five and a quarter inches is why he shrunk. And we kind of decided that one forty yeah. was our mountain. That's why you'll see my two big bucks just on a plaque, because I'm not going to head mount one until I get a one forty buck. He shrunk. He's below my average, but he's a fine buck. And oh yeah, he's good. good. I'm going to tell you next year. I'm getting into skull cleaning. Oh good, I got a bunch of skulls I want to get cleaned. Some hog, hopefully pretty soon. <laughs> but this is a nice way too, if you guys, you know, if you want to score this on paper, that's great. But like this, I've got this on both the bucks, the big bucks that I've killed and I actually scored. And uh, I just took this front sheet and laminated it and put it in with all the pictures of the deer. So it's a good record mm -hmm. of, uh, of, of how your deer actually scored out. So, and like Tyson said, these are going to lose some inches. The deer I killed a couple years ago, uh, the first big buck that I ever killed, scored 132, and when I got him back from the taxidermist, he scored 128. So, and then the other buck I killed in Missouri a couple years ago, the video that we got on YouTube, uh, he scored 128, and this is why we do don't do deductions and stuff. He scored 128, and when we I took all the deductions out, he scored 119. So he had a lot of uh, differences, a kicker on one side. Yeah, and I am a firm believer in why it's a track for character. I, you know, I don't mine that one I had. He was an 11 point, and he had a kicker, and I can't even remember where it was off of this G2. It yeah. came up, and uh, to me, that's a or to the system, that's a subtraction. But to me, that's an addition. It made that deer look cool. So I didn't. I go by the. He shrunk a little bit. He's probably 124. So uh, that's what I go by. I don't go by the net or. The, yeah, the net. We go by the gross around here. So, but yeah, one thirty-eight. That's a pretty good buck. And this is we get Tyson's got another one coming back. What do you got? A nine point coming back. That's the same size or pretty close. Yeah, nine point. He was just a little. He was just a little bit smaller. He uh, didn't have as many tines. That's why he didn't score as much. But he was heavier, and he still had good time length. And he was just a big old boss buck, big old heavy sucker. So. And uh, T Mac killed these both in the same year. 150 yards apart, and I, I've been looking at this deer, and Tyson said the other one's just beat up as bad. It looks like these two tangled, because, I mean, this one's at the back of his ears all rubbed up, and, I mean, he they definitely look like they've done some fighting. That so. actual year, Jerry knows this, some, some years we have a lot of bucks out there, and some yeah. years it gets kind of scantily, but that year I had five or six big bucks on trail yeah. camera, so that, there's it, a lot of them out there. It's a, kind of the way with this land here. I don't know if, if it's the same way with other people's land, because this is... We've hunted this same property for God, how, how long? 20 years. So we're, we're starting to see that cycle. And it's like every three years, every yeah, four yeah. years, those young bucks make it through and they learn enough. And in every four years, for about two to three years, there'll be just monster bucks out here. Yeah. And then those will all either die off, get killed off, or something will happen. We'll One of us get lucky and take them. And in the next few years, it's just nothing but young bucks. we got proof of that. And one of these days, I'm going to get it on... On my computer. Four of the biggest bucks I've ever seen walking on the hoof in my life. All in one bachelor group right here. Yep. Not pinned, nothing. That's wild. And there was one, that one that got ran over down there. Yeah. That would have made this one look small. Uh, he was a big I mean, one. he was a monster. He was probably what, high 150s? Probably, yeah. Uh, he, was yeah. A, he was a big dude. And Close touching rack. Yeah, he there was, was a, a wide rack. There was all kinds of He had some non-typical stuff going on, too, didn't he? It's I hard. I can't remember. It's been so long. I watched it. But he got ran over, and the neighbor up the road, I think, still got his head up there. Probably. Yeah, that was a that was a six by four. He was yeah, cool. he was a monster buck. So they're out there, guys. I mean, even where the the way management is going nowadays, the we are doing a good job out there. Oh yeah. I don't yeah. care what the anti say. The buck population has never been better, and it's yep. because we're out there doing what we do. Yep. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us here on what on scoring this buck. I hope you learned something, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Check us out. At, www.ikesoutdoors.com If you got any questions on the Boone and Crockett system, that's booneandcrockett.org. And there, like I said, there's all kinds of, uh, every different animal that they recognize is on there, so you can score every one of them. So, Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.